analysing visitors' emotions, testing the DRAM model, and using reflective practice for guided walk development. Methodology walkthrough using the four Benjaminium concepts by Jane Webb. So how did I come up with the four concepts from Benjamin? Well, it took some close reading of his books, analysis of his essays, then careful selection from myself from his many concepts to finally develop my own chosen four, which were aura, nostalgia, authenticity of place and melancholy. Now it was time to test Benjamin's concepts, but how was this going to happen? We needed visitors. That was impossible during a lockdown and a pandemic. So I remembered what my director of studies told me when I asked him what I should do. And he said, what would any good researcher do in a difficult situation? And then on went my thinking cap. And I thought, yeah, Facebook. It was now time to put Benjamin to work. So I joined a Facebook group that allowed me access to the history of Torbay and into the lives of the people who have lived there. The group I found were called Torbay, Undiscovered, Lost, Forgotten and Unloved. I found their stories fascinating and used them with their consent of course, anonymously for analysis under Benjamin's four concepts. So next was the chosen software for the analysis. I chose Envivo as it seemed the most fitting choice for what my aims and objectives were for at this time. Some of the examples of the data I collected from the Facebook group showed members expressing memories that were obviously bringing back some feelings. For example, there was an amazing boutique called 70s and it sold Bieber makeup, smell of joss sticks. I can still smell them now. It was so dark in there, I'm surprised that we could even see what we were buying. That bakery sold the best cheese straws. I loved going in there with my mum or my nan and getting some as a treat. What great childhood memories. How to code in Envivo. It's all about the nodes and the data that you put in. So let's take a closer look, shall we? It's about finding pieces of the text that match the themes that you're looking for and matching them with the nodes. These nodes are the themes that you have chosen in the beginning. For example, my nodes were aura, authenticity of place, nostalgia and melancholy. Each node is highlighted and represents a theme in the text which will later be analysed and compared with other individuals' comments. So how do you make the visual graph? Well, I used a matrix query option exported from Envivo to Excel to create a graph of my choice. Because I had four concepts that revolved around feelings and human subjects, I chose a 3D chart formation with an Excel spreadsheet. Transporting the data from Envivo to Excel. Transporting the data from Envivo to Excel involves exporting it onto an Excel sheet and using the recommended chart value to decide which chart is best for your data. Because as mentioned in the previous slide, it was a clustered 3D chart formation that I chose. It offered a wider look at the different angles of the participants and the different concepts. Once you have established your graph, it is ready for analysis. The strong presence of green bars did show that authenticity of place had, did have a strong presence within the people of Torbay. These are a few examples. So do you remember the old Woolworths and the Williams and Cox fantastic department stores in the high street in Torquay? I do miss those days when shopping was bustling. There were so many great buildings in Torquay when I was a little boy that had personality and now they've all gone. I do miss those days. I loved going to the Royal Cinema with my mum and dad and sister. It was a family affair back then when I was a child, when it didn't cost an arm and a leg like it does today. So what about these authentic places then? We've got Woolworths, 122-126 Union Street in Torquay, Devon. Torquay Woolworths first opened in Union Street on the 7th of February 1920, extending in 1931. Williams and Cox survived until 1981 after 144 years of service to the town, 
Following year, its premises were taken over by Hooper's department store, which still trades to this day. The Royal Cinema 1930s, at the height of the silver screen, this picture shows the interior of the Royal Cinema in Abbey Road, Torquay, shortly after its conversion from the Theatre Royal. This largest cinema in Torquay was demolished in the 1980s. Analyzing the findings from the graph. So what we want to do now is analyze the findings from the graph and compare with other members of the group. Highlighting each interview or piece of text basic that you have collected is the way to identify any similarities or themes that may appear in the text. So what are you looking for though? The idea is to identify similarities, extract themes, identify relationships, highlight differences and create generalizations. That is the basic concept of analyzing qualitative data. Interpretation of the findings. So data was collected from a popular Facebook group called Torbay Undiscovered, Lost, Forgotten and Unloved. After careful reviewing, a small sample was collected and further analyzed using the NVivo 12 software to determine whether there was any correlation between the four concepts developed by Walter Benjamin and the people of Torbay. One user mentioned that I would use the first couple of steps as a seat and keep an eye on the children making sandcastles. One mentioned that we spent most of the summer holidays there when the sun was shining and another pointed out that they loved going into the Milky Bar, which was a coffee shop, with their mum and their nan and getting ice cream as a treat. Oh, what great childhood memories. Aura is a term described by Benjamin in his works in the work of art in the age of mechanical reproduction. Different terms were used by Benjamin for aura as being the uniqueness of an experience or a situation in which something cannot be reproduced. This happens with people's past lives and past events that are impossible to recreate, as signified by one of the Facebook users. Their statement of there was an amazing boutique called the 70s and when sold Bieber makeup, the smell of joysticks, I can still smell them now, or another with the shop that did this coffee grinding. I think it was called Carradine's, just down from the canopy. Looking at this, I can still smell roasting coffee beans under the large canopy on the left in my imagination. The smell of coffee beans and the smell of the Bieber makeup and the joysticks, they also are an aura. The study also indicated that a higher following of the users, the green, felt very strongly about authenticity of place. This was demonstrated with findings such as key markets. This was a main supermarket. There was the gas board, radio rentals, a card shop, a bakery and a cafe. In the mid to late 70s, precinct was full and vibrant and well used. Crossways in Paynton was a thriving area. Every shop in Crossways was something back then. And it's sad to walk down there now. It's just an abandoned alleyway. And back in 1950, I was born in Paynton Cottage Hospital, right by the parish church in Church Street. My grandfather worked in the slaughterhouse behind the butcher's shop to the right of the archway, if I remember correctly. These are all examples of authenticity of place. These people remember these places that do refer that authenticity of place is very, very important to them. Now we come to the conclusion. So overall, my results so far from the Facebook community have indicated a deep enthusiasm for the Torbay region. Of course, this was where they grew up, played, worked and spent their whole life. You can see from the graphs that the authenticity of place was a clear leader within the results. And that made sense, considering that all participants consider themselves real Devonians. The four concepts examined from Benjamin did prove, however, to show very similar results as far as holding special meaning for the group and how they feel towards their past and their childhood, ultimately showing that the people of Torbay still hold a strong bond for their beloved town. Thank you for listening to my presentation and I hope you enjoyed it.